Oh, that sounds inappropriate. friends and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel i just got my boxy lux in the mail Yay! so i thought i would open it because i'm really dying to know what i got this is my second boxy lux i got boxy lux in march as well which i did not unbox for you guys i've been really sporadic about what i have and have not opened i think i opened my february box skipped my march boxy lux opened my april box skipped my may boxy charm and now have my June Boxy Lux. If you guys do not know what Boxy Charm is, it is a beauty subscription box and you get it every single month and it's $22 ish and you get like over $100 worth of full size products, four to five full size products. And then Boxy Lux is kind of like an upgrade. So you have to be a charmer before you can um, subscribe to the Boxy Lux. And so it's just an upgrade and instead of paying the $22 it's $50 and it replaces your boxy charm box but yeah so it's more expensive but then you also instead of getting only a hundred dollars worth of products you get over three hundred dollars worth of products I have a code down below I'll put it in the description box so you guys can go check it out I'm not affiliated with them I don't get any kind of like I don't know I don't get like paid or anything for doing this I have no idea what I've got because there are so many variations this month there's different cleansers there's different face sprays there's like a, a spray tan self tanner or self tanning I don't know what it is but there's like a self tanner and I'm praying to the gods that I do not get that let me scoot back so we have a little bit more space so once you open it you get the card and this is just kind of like their theme and this month's theme is BoxyCharm Getaway, which I guess has to do with like summer and getting away, vacation, you know, which I'm not getting away. I don't have any vacations planned. So if you guys are going anywhere cool and need a tag along, like take me along. Uh, but yeah, it just gives you a list of the different items you got. Plus it tells you the MSRP for each item. And I have variation 6B. I haven't read anything, so I don't know exactly what I've got. First thing I see is living proof full dry volume blast which i'll be honest i don't know i thought this was supposed to be when it was a beauty subscription box i thought it was supposed to be mainly like skincare and makeup so when they started announcing like different hair products for this box i was kind of like meh i don't i don't really do much with my hair but I do like volumizing and texturizing sprays. I think this kind of absorbs the oils and stuff too. So it's kind of like a dry shampoo, but it's a styling spray. Let me just read the description so we can find out what this is. And this is a variation. There's also a volumizing, I think it's a volumizing cream, which that's kind of what I really wanted with having curly hair. I think the cream would work good, possibly. Creates instant volume and texture. Light as air for big, lasting results on dry hair. It offers UV protection. Okay, that is really cool because I bleach my hair, so the last thing I need is UV damage. MSRP is 29 US dollars. Ooh, oh. <coughs> I got it in my mouth. Ooh, this, it doesn't taste good. It smells like a high-end salon, but it tastes like butt shit. Oh, so bad. I know what this is. Oh, it's so cute. All right. So in this cute little PYT black satchel bag thing, there is the cutest, most sweetest. That's not how you say that. Oh, there's instructions for it. That's good because I don't ever know how to do anything without instructions. But you guys, it's a little baby hair dryer. Oh, and mine already has a smudge, so. It was made specially for me. It is so cute. This is just supposed to be like a travel hair dryer. I don't know. I could see myself throwing this in my gym bag and using this at the gym that I never ever go to, but pretending like I'm going to go to the gym. That way I get some sort of use. I got the baby pink one. There's also a blue, a purple, and a coral. I really wanted any color but the baby pink just because this one's more muted. The other ones were brighter. I kind of wanted any of the other three it comes with two attachments it comes with the diffuser which i will use all of the time with having curly hair and then it comes with like the spot applicator director thing it's like a helping hand for your hair dryer so that the air goes exactly where you want it to go 
mini turbo on the go dryer powerful portable lightweight and easy to use decreased drying time reduced frizz and lock in moisture 85 dollars for that little baby 85 dollars oh my gosh for 85 dollars I better be able to like dry my car with it. That's insane. My, I think the hair dryer I have now is like $20 and I may use it like five times throughout the entire year. Uh, wow, $85. But just the hair dryer alone pays for the entire box. Um, if you guys want like a comparison as to whether or not it's worth it. I mean, come on, that's crazy. I already know that I'm not going to keep this and mine came with like this beautiful, lovely black smudge but this brand is not cruelty free this is the dr brandt clean biotic ph balanced yogurt cleanser with chlorophyll i must say chloroform chloroform would be a really bad idea like could you imagine like going to wash your face and like passing out because it's got chloroform in it that's like taking april fool's practical jokes to a whole new level all right, this got dark fast. I think there were two other ones and they were both cruelty free. I was really hoping I was gonna get one of those instead of this one, but my mom will like it. Let's read what it has to say about it. Multitasking, cleansing yogurt, melts away grime, makeup, and excess oil for skin that is hydrated and never stripped, which there is a typo on here, BoxyCharm. Ands, A-N-S, I don't think so. I think you meant the word and. And this MSRP is $35. So there's that. Then, oh, okay, so this is another facial product. This is the Skin and Company Roma Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refreshing Mess, Mest? Mist Radiant Dew. All right, all right, this one is cruelty free. For all skin types, this is $35 MSRP. Hydrating mist formulated to soothe, protect, and illuminate the skin. Glow inducing tonic, inspired by St. John's water. Produced using flowers and herbs during the summer solstice. Oxidant rich, soothing, and detoxifying bionicles. Bionicles. <laughs> Those are those little Lego people that pop together. I meant botanicals. You know what? I am done reading this card. And it looks milky. Like, it's not clear. It's got a white base. But it says I can use it to refresh my makeup as a setting spray or as part of skincare. So we're going to see, like, what this does. Ooh, it's kind of aggressive. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like, I mean, it smells like peppermint. Oh, that feels so good. It's really like cooling. It's very soothing. Wow. I typically use the, I think it's like the orange sage um, spray by Mario Badescu and I absolutely love it. Mario Badescu. Drown my face in that. But this is, this is amazing. It feels so good. Very cooling. I could see myself using this like all the time. I love this. There was like a body cream that you could have gotten and I don't remember what it's scent was. I did not want that because I have so many body creams at home. Then I think there was also a self tanner that was another variation for this item, which I'm so glad I did not get. I do not self tan. I don't like real tan. I don't tan. I am pasty pale and I'm always going to stay that way so yeah this is this is seriously gold this is more skincare so this is the pharmacy honeymoon glow AHA resurfacing night serum with hydrating honey and gentle flower acids smells good it smells like it smells fruity like almost like a honeydew melon not like actual honey it's a cute bottle. I really like the bottle. I think that's really cute. AHA is so good for resurfacing and exfoliating and anti-aging, which is what I need because I'm old. $58. Yeah, I'm going to be using this. It says it's a three-in-one night serum that resurfaces, hydrates, and clarifies dull skin while you sleep. Formulated with a 14% AHA BHA gentle flower acids blend youthful looking smooth complexion this is exactly what i need i'm so excited so i'm gonna have 
smaller pores with this and less wrinkles and smaller pores with that. So fan freaking tastic. Okay, the next item is the No Pore Blum Prime Essence Calendua Officinalis Flower Extract. I don't know, it's by Touch and Soul. You guys, we got the No Pore Blum. It's kind of like a, not a gel. It was a silicone based uh, primer, but it was kind of like a, like a cream gel. I don't know, it was a weird texture. Absolutely loved it though. It doesn't work so well for me in the summertime because I have oily skin, so anything with dimethicone isn't necessarily the best for me, and it's not the most tacky of primers, but this one is by the same company. It's a K-Beauty brand. I love this packaging. That is super cute. I really, really, really like that. Oh! Do you guys hear that? That sounds inappropriate. Um, let's see what it has to say. You get a whole fluid ounce, so that's actually really good. Touch and soul, no pore blem. Let your makeup stay a while with your new touch and soul, no pore blem prime essence. So what's a prime essence versus like a primer? Keeps the skin silky and smooth for better and long lasting makeup. Apply moderate amount and gently pat on the skin until for, <laughs> fully observed. Observed? Until fully observed. Observed? Absorbed. <laughs> Tightens your pores, keeping your skin silky, silky smooth. Sweet. All right. MSRP, $23. Oh, no. It's already coming out. Okay. So this is like super liquidy. Oh, it smells like, it smells like flowers, but like, it reminds me of like baby products. I don't know how to describe that. Like not necessarily like a baby lotion or something, but it has like that slight floral scent that you kind of get sometimes with like baby wipes and stuff. It doesn't feel tacky on my hand, but I also like rubbed it in. I didn't pat it on. So we'll see how that works. This is by Tracedeek, which we got something a couple months ago. I think it was the February box. We got like a Tracedeek lipstick and on one end had a lip primer on the other end was a lipstick and I really liked it so this is a weird looking contraption though what even is this do 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 tree steak good vimes mascara treat your lashes to the ultimate curling lengthening and volumizing fun with your new tree steak good vimes mascara all-in-one lash curler so that is oh that's like super extra. You guys, that is a lash curler on the end of the mascara. All right. I'm done reading. I just want to know how this works. MSRP, $25, which I feel like that's kind of standard for good mascara. Ew. Okay. So I don't know how to get into that. It smells like mascara. It has like, I don't know, like a normal looking decent wand. But how do you open? Oh. This is so weird. It looks like a torture chamber for my lashes. How Ooh, you guys, this is wild. I feel like he's gonna start talking to you or something. You know what it looks like? This looks like plankton. Does anybody else look at this and think it looks like plankton? Here comes my foot. This feels like it might be dangerous. So you put your lashes in there and you curl them. Okay, it's going to take like forever. This is weird. This is weird. This is the Dominique Cosmetics. Where is it at? Lemonade Lip Gloss. Hydrating Shine. Fullness to your lips. Lightweight, non-sticky balm. Long-lasting, flexible. Wear alone or layered over your favorite lipstick. So, Dominique Cosmetics. I have been wanting to try her brand um she is a fellow influencer as well but also like super well known whereas like nobody knows me but she um has her own makeup line and some really gorgeous eyeshadows and lip products this is so cute she is killing it with this packaging peach tea let's see what this is like oh my gosh I hate it when things smell like food, but this smells like straight up freshly made buttercream icing. 
I literally want to eat it. You know like when you like take the top off of a freshly baked cake and you kind of get that like hit of a smell from the cake and the icing? That's what this smells like. This smells like I could eat it. I'm glad that it doesn't smell like lemonade though or peach tea because I feel like those smells wouldn't be as universally pleasing and easy to formulate. I don't know because I have the peach palette and sometimes it makes me want to vomit and sometimes it smells really good. You guys, it tastes like cake too. It kind of tastes like cake icing. All right, I'm not gonna eat it. I shouldn't be eating it. It's probably not safe. It is cruelty free, so that's a good thing. I really like this color. This is like a really good nude natural color. I'm gonna go through this whole tube in like a month because I think I'm gonna wear it every single freaking day. Did I say what that retails for? No, I didn't. It is MSRP $17. My very last item, which I'm really excited about this. This is the tart, tartiest, tartest. I hear people say it both ways. Um, I'm going to say tartiest because that's how I say it. Uh, Pro Glow 3. It is the cheek palette. And I'm excited about this one because I have their tartiest pro highlight and contour palette which is one of the variations that you can get for this. And then there's also a Tarte Amazonian Clay Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette. I think you can get instead of this. Oh, it's all powdery. Please do not be broken. Oh, it's pretty. I love how it like snaps in the back. I don't know guys, it's fun. I like it. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It, on camera, all of these look very similar. This one is like more corally. That one's a little bit more pinky. This one has a more of a gold, like nude base, whereas that one's more of like a rose gold. This looks pretty orange. That's not gonna go on my face. It might be like a good eyeshadow or transition shadow, because I don't know if you guys do this, but I love using my face palettes also as eyeshadow because I'm lazy. But then this one might be more my color and it also has like a little bit of a sheen or a shimmer, which I love the other um, Tarte Cheek Contour Blush and Highlight Palette that I have because it does have a little bit of the shimmer, which I think is really good for summertime. Am I wearing that on my face right now? I think I'm wearing it on my face right now. Uh, yeah, so I'm actually really excited about this. You know how Tarte products always smell like vanilla or chocolate? This one doesn't, it smells like glue but not like in a good way because you know you guys know I like the smell of adhesive. Oh, they're so velvety. Okay, those are really pretty. Oh my gosh, I love my highlights. So I'm gonna fall in love with this. All right, so that is all that I got in my box. Let me see, I didn't say the MSRP. This is $45 and it says six shade, Tardius Pro Glow Cheek Palette Volume 3. Amazonian clay, streak and fade free, blush, highlighter, bronzer, sculpted dimension look. Okay, awesome. I'm super excited about this. All right, you guys stay tuned. I'm going to go home and I'm going to try these products on so that you can see them in use. And yeah, I will see you guys after a bit.